if you have a look at the um, cross tabulation table and how the order of the race has been done you'll notice that it's not actually alphabetical so we've got white Mexican black Asian mixed uh, and so you might have been wondering what the order was here and it's just done in order of the coding so if we have a look at the race we've got white Mexican black Asian mixed uh, 16789 so for whatever reason 2345 are missing possibly they were other minority groups with sample sizes that were just so low that they were excluded from the data set and then if we have a look at our low birth weight and not low birth weight it's in the order of not low birth weight first with the zero and low birth weight with the one the reason I'm pointing this out is because when you do the chi-square test um, this the order that the tables are produced is determined by this ordering of the code and so if you want to have the low birth weight put first for when you calculate any odds ratios or risk estimates you need to make sure that they're coded in that order in your value labels so we're going to have a look at right now for just recoding this race um, values but you could also recode in order to make the value labels come out in the order that you want them to so in this case we, we might want to put in our uh, everyone that's not white into the same group and we could call that 2 I might actually just use the number 10 or 11 because presumably in the original data set these missing numbers here already had some other values associated with them so if I cancel out of that for the moment sometimes it's worth writing this down on a piece of paper what you're going to do because you might forget what these numbers are now in order to recode we don't want to go through and do it by hand if you have a look at the data set there's just way too many to go through and start typing numbers in by hand and that's also a really good way to make mistakes instead let's go up to transform and recode into a different variable we don't want to recode over the top of the same column because if we do mess something up we've then lost our original data so I highly recommend that when you collect your data you put it into a an Excel spreadsheet and you just save that and then don't touch it then you also create an SPSS version and code up your variable view with all your value labels and whether they're scale and nominal and all that sort of stuff save it um, and then put it away and don't touch it and then get a copy of that and only work from your copies so that you've always got a set of the original data to go back to and the same for this recode into a different variable now I've already done this once I'll do it again here so let's pick our input variable which is race of the mother our output variable we'll put the name here now we could just call this race 3 rather than race 2 and we could call this race of mother it's up to you what you call it either dichotomized or recategorized or I might just say white non-white just to make it clear that this is a recoded variable click on the change and it will pop it up over here so we've got our input and our output old and new values now if the old I've already got it in here but I'll go through typing it again let's take that out so our first value was 1 for white now if it was 1 we just want to keep that as 1 so the old value was 1 the new value is 1 add that in now if our old value was 6 7 8 or 9 we want that to now be 10 so if it was 6 we could make it 10 and we could do that for each of these levels we could also do a range of 6 through to 9 and make that a 10 but as 9 was the highest and there are no more we could also just say from 6 up to the highest make it to 10 or if that's everyone else white and non-white we could also say all other values so which one of these you use is completely up to you and um, just do whatever's quickest or whatever you understand the best so I'm just going to go all other values make them 10 so if it's white keep it white if it's not make it 10 continue okay now it just gives us a little message here to say that it's done it hopefully you get an error if it can't do it if we have a look at race 3 we can see that we've got 1's and 10's which is what we wanted if we go into the variable view we have got uh, no labels so let's add them in
So if it was 1, that's white, add in. If it's 10, then make it non-white and add that in. OK. Now bef before we do anything with this variable, I think it's a very good idea to do a cross tabulation with the original variable just because this will show if we've made any mistakes. So into descriptive stats and cross tabs. And let's put in the race of the mother and then our new race of the mother, white non-white. OK. Uh, it's given us the whole shebang, which we probably don't want to see. But if we just look at the bar chart, we can see that all of white is white and all of the, the non-white from the other ones are coded as non-white and green, and that's what we want. You could look through here and just ignore all these expected counts. We're just looking to see at the actual count is zero and that we've got them all in the other one. Now we're not interested in the chi-square test between white and non-white. We would like to do that again between the, our new white non-white and the, um, the low birth weight. So back into descriptive stats, cross tabs. And I'm going to put our new variable in as the row and our baby low birth weight in as the column. We've already got everything ticked for the chi-square test and our expected values. So if we click OK, and we can see here that we've got similar numbers of low birth weight babies in the white and the non-white. Um, but because we have a lot more white babies, this as a proportion, this is much lower for the white. If we have a look at the cross tabulation, we have our expected counts there. So the null hypothesis is that there is no association between race and low birth weight. If that was true, then we would expect to see about 19 babies in the non-white uh, group that were low birth weight, whereas actually we've got 31, which is quite a bit more. And if there was no association, we would expect to see about 44 low birth weight babies in the white group, whereas actually we've only got 32, so we've got much fewer than we expect. We have no warning about low cell counts because all our expected counts are now much higher, so the test is fine. And we've got a very low p-value still, which is very strong evidence against the null hypothesis, and therefore we would assume that there is some kind of relationship between race and being low birth weight. Now, it's probably not actually race per se. It's more likely that race is some kind of indicator variable or proxy for measuring social disadvantage or some other issue which is causing the low birth weight, um, it's unlikely to be due to race itself. So the only other thing you might want to do here is just do another um, stacked bar chart with the race of the mother. So you can see those proportions rather than the counts. So if I put race of the mother in here, we've still got whether the baby's low birth weight, we've still got our percentage from last time and OK. And now you can see here that we're getting um, about double the low birth weight babies in the non-white group than in the white group, which I think would be disturbing if you were working in this community. So that's our basic chi-squared test. You can also add in risk estimates and odds ratios if you want to.